sometimes the simplest of treats aren't that simple to make. I learned that the hard way when I put a twist on a holiday favorite in this week's Britney's Bites. Happy Halloween, everyone. You probably have already eaten a few pieces of Halloween candy so far, so I thought I'd do a little twist on the candy bar or the candy corn, although you could use that in this recipe if you'd like. So I think of this recipe as something that comes out actually usually during Christmas. My grandmother used to make it all the time during Christmas. We're talking puppy chows. You know what that is? Some people call it Muddy Buddies. It's basically the cereal that's covered in a peanut butter chocolate mixture and then covered with powdered sugar. Well, we're gonna do that, but jazz it up a little bit for Halloween. It's gonna be really good and really fun and really easy to do if you wanna make little treat bags today and hand them out instead of a candy bar. So, here we go. We've already gotten some things started because this is the easy part. You could do the double broiler and make it right, temper your chocolate properly, or you can just pop it in the microwave. So I started with six tablespoons of butter and then a whole bag of chocolate chips. It calls for about, I think, one and a half to two cups. That's essentially a whole bag. And then three quarter cup peanut butter, pop it in the microwave, do it on 30 second, maybe one minute intervals, stir it up, and then it'll come out with smooth, silky, chocolate peanut butter mixture it's so good and then you just get a box of this rice cereal you could also jazz it up and do the chocolate fav flavored cereal they have like this any kind of flavor you want the wheat i think they have whatever you'd like so this is just a whole box i think it's 12 ounces there and then you're gonna pour this on top and you want to do it a little bit by bit so that you can really stir it up so we'll get a little bit going here and this is where we see how messy we can get in the kitchen as well I decided it would be fun to do an easy recipe, one that you could get the kids involved with this week because last week I'm doing not a good job of keeping this on the bowl. This is where, you know, the best kitchen tool, your hands, right? Um, last week, if you recall, uh, we made a bunt cake from scratch, a lot of steps, a lot of ingredients, so I thought, let's go easy this week. And good, something that the kids will like. It means it's treat time, right? All right, we're gonna pour a little bit more in. By the way, this smells so great. And you want to be a little bit careful because you want to break up this cereal too much. You just want to get it coated. All right, I'm making a huge mess here, as usual. I'm just going to give this a few more stirs, pour on the rest of the chocolate, and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, there we have it pretty much combined. It does take a little minute to do that, but it's worth it in the end because it's all coated and nice and gooey. So we're up here. You're gonna want to grab either a big plastic bag. You're probably gonna have to do this in sections at least half and half, maybe do it in thirds, and then add the powdered sugar. I don't have any disposable bags here at my place, so I'm gonna try a mason jar. I haven't tried this before, so let's see if this works. I'm just gonna pour some of this in and then pour some powdered sugar in and gently shake it up to get it coated. And then when we're done, we're gonna put it on this sheet, baking sheet here, covered with wax paper and let it cool a little bit we get to our next step. All right, I've got it in there. All good to go with another little escaping. We're gonna see how this works. Never done it without the bag before, so I'm being my own guinea pig right now. And again, you wanna be kind of gentle. Let's see how this works. Okay, this doesn't look so bad. And the good news is, the reason you lay it out on the pan is so you can sprinkle more powdered sugar on top and you can kind of squish it around on that. All right, let's see. I think that worked pretty well. I'm thinking definitely a bag works better. <laughs> but you know, give everything a shot once. I'm just gonna put some more powdered sugar on from here. More powdered sugar on there. All right. The next thing is we're going to stick with the peanut butter chocolate theme and add Reese's Peanuts because guess what? They're also Halloween colored, right? Yellow, orange, brown. We're just going to sprinkle some of those on top, mix it in, and then 
So I know, candy corn. Some people love it, some people hate it. You do not have to add this. But I thought it looks so festive. And this is actually a cute little mixture of lots of different things. It has not only the candy corn, but it has the little pumpkins in it too. And I thought that would be so festive. So I am gonna sprinkle those in as well. Again, you don't have to do this. You can use whatever candy you want. You can do little peanut butter cups, mini M&Ms if you want, whatever sounds good to you. And then once that cools down, just put it in a dish or in little bags and you've got it good to go. Here we go, Halloween puppy chow. Cheers. See, it all came together in the end. Sort of. It did. It did. You saw the picture. I managed to bring it all together in the end. If you have a recipe you'd like to share, though, or an idea for a future segment, you can text us at 614-460-3345 or find me on social media.